work on. Here's a question I'm going to ask. Question number one. What was your spatial awareness from the plate and contact? Meaning, did, could you get to the inside half? Could you get to the outside half without bending? Did you have an idea? So now let's even move the T out here. And this T works right here. So when I jump into the box and I'm working off this T, this is exactly what I'm going to learn about my angle towards the ball. So I jump in and I go bam, bam. I know the distance from the T. If I want to work to the outer half of the plate, then I'm going to move a little bit forward and work to the outer half of the plate. If I'm going to work to the middle, I'm going to move back to where it's in contact with my foot. And if I'm going to move to the pull side, I'm going to get a little closer. And all I have to do is change my body, really not the T. Or I can change the T. So that when I'm standing here, and here's what it looks like. Here's what it looks like when I get in the box. Because I want to be in the box and be comfortable. So when the game starts and the T's not there anymore, I want to be in the same position in the box to understand my angles to the ball as when I took my lead-ups. But what I saw out of most lead-ups is some guys just put it there and the ball went on and bam, we were banging, we were banging it. We, just, we were trying to hit it as hard as we could hit it. But we didn't have an idea of where I wanted to be in the box. And then we didn't have an idea of what pitch I was working on. So what you see in this in this case back here, and go ahead, Steph, go ahead and pick up a swing when you get a chance. What you see in this cage is why he's working long cage. He's working at, at trying to see where the ball's going to go so he doesn't hook it like that. But, <laughs> but on stage, he's trying to get to the back net. And he's trying to figure out what he wants to do with the back net. And basically, all he's working is in the middle of the plate. Which is fine. Which is fine. You can work the middle of the plate. Sometimes, now let's go back to this focus. Sometimes I like to start on the outer half of the plate so that my balance is there. And I understand when I get into the box, this is the outer half of the plate. My rhythm takes me to that part of the plate. My swing takes me to that part of the plate. And I want to visualize this back corner of the net when I'm driving the ball off of the tee. And then when I move the tee to the center, I want to visualize the center of the, of the back net, that's where that's my target. And then when I move the tee to this part, which is the inside part of the plate, I want to visualize the back corner of the net. So I'm looking all the way off into the distance, and I'm going to try to focus all the way back here to the tee. What happens for most of us is when we get in here and we put the ball here off the tee, the first thing that goes through my mind is pull, because the ball is close to me. So I focus on trying to pull the ball into this quadrant down the line. When the ball moves away from me, I think about taking the ball down the right field line and trying to hit it down this line. Now, that's a big difference. Me as a young hitter trying to hit the ball down the right field line and me as a young hitter trying to hit the ball down the left field line. Me as a professional hitter, I want to hit the ball in the center of the field, so I want to go to that corner that corner and straight away. And that's where everything happens for me, no matter where I put the ball on the plate. So now here are some important factors when I work off of the tee. I need to understand how far away I am on the tee. I need to understand where my contact spot is on the tee. And then I need to understand what my visual sight is of the pitcher so that I can visualize the pitcher and my eyes go back to contact and I visualize contact and I stay through contact. And now, in layman terms, staying through contact would be in the right corner. Staying through contact is in the left corner. Staying through contact is all the way in the center. So how do I do that when I'm working off of a net that's right here? Well, I understand my spatial awareness. I understand where I'm going to contact the ball. Now I'm going to work on the outer half of the plate, and I'm going to drive the ball on an arc on a six to eight foot arc into that back corner. I don't have the luxury of just working in a, in a cage where I can drive it all the way to the back. I'm going to work on a six foot arc here. How many guys were standing on this side got it on a six foot arc? Six foot, eight foot arc as it exits. And that's probably six foot because I'm maybe five eight. <laughs> Joe, I'll call you. Six one. Joe, how tall are you? Nice. <laughs> Joe. I'm going to ask you one more time. I'll follow you. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, now, at a six foot arc, it's a little bit higher for Joe. For some of you guys that are Joe's height, that's a little, that's the arc. If that arc is here, not good. If that arc is here, not good. I'm not working on hitting ground balls right now. I'm working on hitting line drives all the way through the net. This time, when you go with your partner, make sure you tap the inside part of the plate. Make sure you tap the outside part of the plate without having to lean over. So basically, this is what it looks like if I'm working on balance. If I'm working on balance, this is my rhythm. I can touch any corner. So what does that tell me if I can touch any corner? That means when I put this in my hands and I go to hit, I don't have to lean over to get to that part of the plate. So for some of us that felt like we were too far away from the tee and we had to lean over to get to the ball, we got to get to the point where our balance is good enough where we can stride in the same position and now drive to the ball. Here's the last point. When the ball goes on this tee, I want everybody to focus on the top inside part of the ball. And if your focus goes away from that, so if I'm a right-handed hitter, this is the top inside part of the ball. That's my focus. If I'm a left-handed hitter, this is the top inside part of the ball. That's my focus. That's where I want to get to off the tee. I don't care if it's inside, outside, up, down. I don't want to get to the bottom of the ball, and I don't want to get to the outside of the ball. I want to get to the top inside part of the ball on a six foot arc as it leaves. So my question to you is this. I set you up for that and I just let you go out there and hit off the tee because I knew what I would see and I really thought I'd be patient enough to watch you take three rounds. After four swings I was ready to switch. But I hung in there. I watched about <laughs> 20 of them. But I wanted to prove that point to myself as a coach. It doesn't matter if you have a tee, fellas. If you don't know how to use the tee, it's not going to do you any good. So when we go hit off of this tee, just because you have a tee in your garage and a net, it doesn't mean you're going to be a good hitter until you learn how to start using this thing that makes you successful. This thing is used for rhythm, timing, and sight. This thing is not used to see how far you can hit it or how hard you can hit it. That's a direct result of controlled <coughs> aggression. That's controlled aggression. So we're going to try to control the aggression get to the top inside part of the ball. So the station you were at a second ago, we're going to go down to three swings. 